Good morning. My name is Yasmin and I'm a proud Gamilaroi woman. I acknowledge the traditional owners of this land we stand on today. This land is and always will be Aboriginal land. I pay my respects to the elders, past and present, and to the leaders who have yet to come, who will carry on the hopes and dreams of our nation into the future. We recognise the strength, resilience and spirit of our nation's first people. Standing here, surrounded by the ocean Standing here with the sand between my toes And I'm looking back on this land where I have risen Looking back on this land that I call Pink sky, it shimmers in the morning I'm dreaming echoes yesterday and I feel so alive right here under the southern sky. Welcome to our families, community members, award recipients, Mr. Boak and Mrs. Singleton. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate the achievements of our students for 2021. My name is Olivia and this is Xavier and we are pleased to be the presenters for the Year 8 award presentation. Please stand for the national anthem. This is a pre-recorded viewing for those watching from home. For those in the hall, please refrain from singing. However, you are able to watch the screens in front of you.
Thank you to Talia and Shaylee for our national anthem. 2021 has certainly been a challenging year. However, in true Gorakin spirit, we are still able to come together to celebrate all of our achievements of 2021. I would like to congratulate our departing Year 12 who were able to have their graduation ceremony earlier this year, a great demonstration of resilience and determination shown by this year group. I would now like to ask Mr Burke to the lectern to deliver the principal's address. Thank you, Xavier and Olivia. Uh, I too would like to acknowledge uh, the traditional custodians of the land in which we meet, Dark and Jung land, and pay my respects to elders past, present, and those who sit before us as emerging. We're very fortunate to have such a strong partnership here at Gorikin High School, and I'd also like to include the thoughts of Uncle Dave Ella, who takes the staff and the students out on country in acknowledging the skies and the waterways that connect us and help the learning happen and for that spiritual connection that we get to learn on every day, we are very, very fortunate. I'd also like to acknowledge the parents and carers who would love to have been here with us today and haven't been able to, many of who will be joining us online at the moment. I thank you for your commitment to your student and also your partnership with Gorikin High School as we work through the events of 2021. And standing behind the cameras, manning all the different equipment here, is our dedicated team of staff who were adamant that today was an event and that 2021 concluded with recognition of student effort that was undertaken throughout the year. And I thank them for their efforts as well. Now, Year 8, don't tell the other year groups this, but you're actually one of my favourite year groups in the school. And this is for a couple of reasons. There's some genuine personality sitting out there at the moment looking up at me, from the colour through to the people who are learning to kick footballs half the length of the field through to the people who are getting me out in handball in the playground. I value our interactions as we walk through the playground and I value your perspectives on the learning and the opportunities that you have here at Gorikin High School. You see, you begin year eight with more confidence. You're no longer the new faces in the school, you're connected to us as a site, you're connected to our staff, and you're connected to each other. And as a result of that, you develop as learners and you develop as people. Your personality starts to come through. It shapes your ways of thinking, it shapes your values, and it shapes who you will be become who you will become and that's exciting for us as educators because that personal growth and development is what gives us the real job satisfaction your presence here today is testament to the fact that that has been identified and that has been valued as you move ahead into year 9 remember the relationship between hard work and reward because it's no coincidence that we're in the position that we're in today. And you know that that was tested this year more often than not. The next stage of your journey with Gorikin High School is really about building momentum as you move into year 9 and 10 to set you up on your individual pathway into the future. As a school and as educators, we don't actually know what that future will look like for you yet. But we do know that you're well equipped and already on your way to be able to meet those challenges and positively impact the society around us. It will take your optimism, it will take your empathy and it will take your perseverance. And like I said, you've already demonstrated that you have that. So my final thoughts from me are to enjoy the festival season ahead of us, have a fantastic break over the summer and come back to us in 2022, refreshed and ready to go again. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you. I'd now like to invite Olivia and Xavier back to the lectern uh, to present the highly commended awards for 2021. Uh, can Miss Singleton please join me in congratulating our students and their success?
Please refrain from applause until the end of the award recipients. Philip Abel, highly commended, English, Hizzy, Design and Technology. Toby Allen, highly commended, Design and Technology. Shania Anderson, highly commended, Visual Arts. Riley Barnes, highly commended, Mathematics. Zeppelin Berman, highly commended, Science, Visual Arts. Tani Bradford, highly commended, English Mathematics. Ella Burge, highly commended, Visual Arts. Isla Cardi, highly commended, English. Jessica Cavallo, highly commended, PDHPE. Cameron Chavaz, highly commended, Design and Technology. Please congratulate our first round of award recipients. Jake Despelin, highly commended, Hizzy. Scott Farquharson, highly commended, PDHPE. Chloe Harper, highly commended, Design and Technology. Shanae Henney, highly commended, Mathematics. Isabel Hudson, highly commended, Mathematics, Science. Gabriel Hutchings, highly commended Hizzy, Science, PDHP, and Visual Arts. Kai Cable Brown, highly commended Visual Arts. Darius Lavasa, highly commended, Mathematics, PDHP. Kai Maham, highly commended, Visual Arts. And Jackson Marker, highly commended, English, Science. Please congratulate our award recipients. Haley Martin, highly commended design and technology. Bella McMahon, highly commended design and technology.
Kaya McWilliams, highly commended, design and technology. Najwa Muhammad, highly commended, English Hizi. Aaron Nand, highly commended, English PDHPE. Madison Nolan, highly commended, Mathematics, Hizi, PDHPE, Design and Technology. Lily Norton, highly commended, science. And Jackson Oxenbridge, highly commended, English. Please congratulate our award recipients. Lars Oxenbridge, highly commended, English. Jesse Reed, highly commended, Hizzy, PDHP. Benjamin Renshaw, highly commended, Science, Design and Technology. Seth Robinson, highly commended mathematics, science, hizzy, design and technology, visual arts. Gabrielle Sheeb, highly commended visual arts. Princess Eureta, highly commended, mathematics, hizzy, science, PDHP. Zach Vincent, highly commended, visual arts. And Lorelai Wayne, highly commended, visual arts. She will collect her award at a later date. Please, congr please congratulate our award recipients. I would now like to invite you all to review our wonderful Year 8 art display. This will be followed by Mr. Burke to announce the distinguished awards.
It is now my pleasure to present the distinguished awards for Year 8 2021. Uh, and our first one is the PNC Award. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our PNC for their partnership during 2021. Their hard work and dedication has supported the opportunities for our students that may not have arisen otherwise. And I'd certainly encourage any parents who are joining us today and interested in being part of that group to get in touch. It's a very rewarding and very impactful role. Our PNC awards are chosen by our team of year advisors and head teacher welfare. These awards are in recognition of our students who demonstrate the values of the school, respect, responsibility and personal best. These awards are also in recognition of students who consistently show determination to succeed, leadership skills and kindness to those around them. It is with great pleasure that I announce the PNC awards for 2021. Lillian Powell. Lillian has maintained a positive attitude towards her learning and always gives her personal best. She shows respect, responsibility, and is a positive role model for her peers. This student consistently puts her best foot forward across all subject areas and has achieved some great results both in and out of the classroom. Congratulations, Lillian. Our next PNC Award recipient is Kobe Swinnell. Kobe is a consistent worker who always works to the best of his ability. He takes pride in his classwork and is a valued member of his class and the Year 8 cohort. He always strives to demonstrate the Gorican High School core values of respect, cooperation and personal best and possesses great leadership skills. Congratulations, Kobe. Next, we have the Da Vinci Award. This award is given to a student who excels in the Gorican High School selective stream. This year's award recipient is Kira Chris. Kira has demonstrated throughout the challenges of 2021 resilience and determination to, con to continue pursuing academic excellence. Her teachers have nominated her to receive this award in recognition of her application to her studies and continued perseverance throughout 2021. Congratulations, Kira. <laughs> the Jenny Bradstock Scholarship Award. This scholarship was established to remember one of our staff, Jenny Bradstock. Jenny was a dedicated teacher and sportswoman who achieved through perseverance. The recipient demonstrates these qualities of achieving through perseverance, which is an incredibly suitable award for 2021. The award recipient of this scholarship is Isabel Hudson. Isabel has demonstrated some excellent work throughout 2021. She is a great role model and she consistently applies herself in all aspects of schooling life. She is a hard worker and always demonstrates the Gorican High School core values. She works diligently with a strong work ethic and is a valued member of Year 8 and the Gorican High School community. Congratulations, Isabel. I'd now like to ask Ms Singleton to the lectern to close the presentation. Thank you, Mr Boak. I would like to acknowledge our supporters of today's presentation, Keys Plus Lake Haven, Charm Haven Garden Centre, and I would like to thank all our 
carers and parents watching on from home. And finally, very well done, Year 8. Very proud of you. Looking forward to being back with you in Year 9. We will close the presentation today by leaving you with a wonderful performance from Toby Dowdle and Luke Vincent. We wish you a happy and safe Christmas break from all of us here at Gorican High School. Thank you.